Welcome to Ultimate Fighting Words. Today, in honor of the new film, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Our challengers will battle to find out who is more powerful, Krakens versus mermaids. In this corner, we have Quincy. Quincy says a Kraken is more powerful than a mermaid, and she's ready to sink this debate once and for all. Yes, a Kraken is more powerful than a mermaid, and I am ready to get Kraken. In this corner, we have Zack, who says mermaids are more powerful. Zack also believes he's had an encounter with a real mermaid while surfing. I saw a mermaid once, but it could have also been one of my bros with seaweed on his head. You never know. During this battle, you have three rounds to use your best words and prove to me and to the crowd who will be the ultimate fighting words champion. Round one is called Wild Work where I say the first word that pops into my head, and you each get 30 seconds to convince me who should get the point for the round. Welcome to the jungle, Zack. The wild word is strong. Go. Historically speaking, mermaids are aquatic creatures with strong magical powers. First mentioned in Greek mythology in 1000 BC. They have the head and upper body of a human and the tail of a fish instead of legs, which makes them strong swimmers. Mermaids are also known to have strong, alluring powers whether it's over sailors or even kids like you and me. It's been rumored that some mermaids will lure you in with their good looks and beautiful voice and the promise of friendship and understanding. But when you get close, they show their true colors and transform into their giant 50 foot tall form with razor sharp claws and glowing eyes. They can even drag you down to the bottom of the sea. Talk about strong. Ha, that's nothing compared to the strong and mighty Kraken, whose legend goes back to the year 1180, where one was first said to be sighted in the Norwegian sea by the king of Norway. After that, more and more sailors began to describe sightings of this giant squid-like monster, who it was rumored would use their long and strong tentacles to drown sailors or swim in circles until they could create a current so strong that it could sink a ship. But actually, even though Kraken are totally strong enough to do all that, some say they choose to use their strength for good, protecting the ocean and all its creatures from evil mermaids. So yeah, a Kraken is way stronger than a mermaid. Wow, what a gentle giant. Sorry, Zach, a Kraken just sounds stronger than a mermaid to me right now. That means Quincy, you get the first point for Wild Word and lead 1-0. Now let's see who says it better in round two, the hot potato round, where Zack and Quincy go head to head, drowning in facts about Krakens and mermaids. Whoever gets caught holding the potato when the buzzer goes off loses. Hot potato starts now. You know, mermaids have magical powers, like the power to heal other life forms just by touching them when in need. Like a wounded sailor, mermaids also have the power to communicate with other aquatic life forms like whales and dolphins. I wish I had the power to talk to a dolphin. How cute. Well, a kraken is ginormous. Terrified sailors describe the kraken as the largest monster ever imagined by mankind, with its size being anywhere between the length of 10 ships to a mile and a half long. Stories say that unlucky sailors would mistake the monster for an island and try and land on it, then be dragged down to the ocean, never to be seen again. Now, I personally don't think a kraken would actually do that, but still, that's one huge and powerful creature. Hey, mermaids are like way strong and powerful too. Just like in Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, where one is the cool new girl at school who everybody wants to be friends with, but really, Chelsea is undercover. And it turns out that she's super evil and trying to steal the kraken's power. Imagine how powerful a mermaid would be with the extra power of a kraken. Out of control! You're out of control. If we're talking about Ruby Gilman, then and krakens are misunderstood creatures who are majestic and noble and use their powers like super speed and laser eyes to protect the ocean from evil creatures like mermaids. Actually, Ruby is a kraken warrior princess and it's all down to her to stop Chelsea from destroying her. Boom, she's gone. Sounds like an awesome movie though. That means Zach, you get the point here and win round two with the score tied at 1-1. It's time to convince the crowd. In this final round of the game, you each get 15 seconds to say it all one last time and convince the crowd who deserves the final point in this battle. Zach, 
You're on the hook. Let's hear it. Okay, so mermaids have magical healing powers and can communicate with other aquatic life forms. They also have the power to attract sailors with their beautiful songs. Evil mermaids appear beautiful from far away, but upon closer look, have sharp teeth, webbed hands, fierce eyes. Some mermaids, like the ones in Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, have the power of deception and are secretly evil and power-hungry creatures who want to control the ocean. Mermaids are more powerful than Kraken. Splishy, splashy stuff there, Zach. Okay, Quincy, start swimming. The Kraken has been called the largest monster ever imagined by mankind. Its size ranges between the length of 10 ships to a mile and a half long. This powerful monster is said to rise from the sea and attack ships with its long and powerful tentacles and can create a huge and powerful whirlpool that can suck up an entire ship and its crew. But in the case of Ruby Gilman, Krakens protect the ocean from evil creatures like mermaids by using their supernatural abilities like camouflage, super speed, body armor, and even laser eyes. There is no question Krakens are way more powerful than mermaids. This all sounds awesome. Both very powerful creatures. But who is more powerful, a kraken or a mermaid? Who said it best, Quincy or Zack? Let's hear it for krakens. Let's hear it for mermaids. Looks like krakens. And with the final score of two to one, we have been convinced Krakens are more powerful than mermaids. Quincy, you are the ultimate fighting words champion. Well, you've convinced me. I'm off to go see Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Let's just hope I don't sit next to a mermaid. Bye-bye now.